What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you another tip in Revit. Now this is a big one, changing the render material of your project. This can really make your project look much, much, much better. So I'm just going to show you an example of that right now. I have this, these basic materials that Revit comes with and I'm sh I'll show you what it looks like once they're rendered and as you will see it's really kind of a boring color it's really gray it's not real fancy and the colors don't really go together so now if you wanted to change this it's actually quite easy what you want to do is just click whatever you want to change I'm gonna do a bunch of different things here but first I'm gonna start with the wall I'm gonna click on the wall and then under your properties box here you're gonna want to click edit type now here you're gonna see structure and you want to click edit now here's basically your whole wall from the exterior side to the interior side with all your different materials. But for this, all we want to change is the siding color. So I'm going to click under the material column. I'm going to click siding. And then you're going to see a box with three dots appear. You want to click that box. Now here's your all your different materials that it could be. And we want it to be siding. Now over here, you want to find the appearance tab and click the appearance. Now you're either gonna have a replace button or this little swap button and you just click that. In older versions of Revit it's gonna pop up with all of your options already but in newer versions you have to manually select that so I'm gonna click under appearance and then this is siding so we want to click the siding one and now here's all my different types of siding here and for this cabin one I think I'm gonna go with a split log look so you double click and it will bring it into here now here's a whole bunch of different things you can change if you want to mess around with that and see what happens to it I'm not going to show you that for the purpose of this video but that is something you can change now once you have selected it and it's in here and it's the way you like it you want to click graphics and here you're gonna see use render appearance or color now this what this is talking about is your model your 3d model so as you can see right now the color is this beige color even though we selected a wood look. So to change this you can either click use render appearance which is the, the fastest and it's going to give us that color or you could manually select a color whichever color you wanted or get it close to the render appearance. But for this I'm just going to use the render appearance. So click the check then click OK. Click OK again and once again now as you can see it has changed all the walls to the different material. Now I'm going to do the roof. It's very similar. Edit type. Edit structure. Here's our shingle that we want. Click that. And now we want to click appearance. Replace. Under here we will go to roofing. And here's all my different colors. I think I'm going to go just this basic brown shingle right here click OK actually we're gonna click graphics use render appearance click OK and then OK once again OK as you can see now that has changed now fascia is similar but it's actually a little bit different as you see you'll click edit type and instead of going into structure the material is actually just right here so you click on by category then the box with three dots and it's going to auto select shingle but I don't do not want it to be shingles I want it to be some type of metal so I'm going to do decking now click appearance replace and I'll go to the metal category as you can see they have a whole bunch of different ones they have this bronze here I'll see what this looks like it's actually a little more light than I would like so for some materials you can change the color so this one as you can see it's got a tannish color I guess I want to make this a little bit darker so I'm gonna click on that and just slide this down a little bit and as you can see it made it a darker brown and I'm gonna click OK as you can see it has changed the render appearance to make that a little bit darker brown and I like that so now I'm gonna click graphics again use render appearance I always use the render appearance because that is the easiest and then you can tell what your material is going to look like once it's rendered. So I'm going to click OK. OK once again. 
and now you can see it changed the fascia. Now windows are very similar, once again, click on them, edit type, and then here's your different types of material. You can change the glass if you wanted to, I'm not going to change the glass right now, but I'm going to change the sash and the trim material. So first we'll do this, appearance, replace, and this is basically the same thing over and over again. Wood, I'm going to go for a dark wood, something like uh, walnut I think. And then here's the stain color so I can actually change what the tint basically of that wood. So I'm going to click on that. And I want a brownish color and I actually have one saved here. So if you find a color that you like and you know you want to use it, just click add right here. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to click OK. And actually that might be a little bit dark. So I'm going to just use this one instead. Click OK. There, I like that a little bit better. Now I'm going to click graphics. Use render appearance. And click OK. And then now I'll do the trim. Now this is going to inside and exterior trim. If you wanted to duplicate that and maybe have different trims, you can just right click on here and click duplicate. But for this video, I'm not going to do that. So you're going to want to click appearance again, replace, go under wood. And then I think I'm just going to use the same color wood throughout my whole house. This one, stain color, I'll just use this again, click OK. Graphics, use render appearance and click OK. OK once again and now as you can see all my windows have changed. Doors once again very similar. You can edit type and then I'll change the door panel. As you can see it's just a lot of repeating here. Down to wood and you could have these all different types of materials if you wanted to but I really like different types of wood so I'm just going to use this this one again, and then that color, so use render appearance, click OK, this one once again, door frame material, we want appearance, replace, appearance again, wood, back down to walnut, stain, same stain, OK. Always remember to click graphics and use render appearance so then it changes in your 3D model. Click OK. OK once again. Now this also works for any type of material you could want in Revit, floors, carpeting, everything. So I'm just going to show you the difference that this makes. I'll click render, render once again. And now the whole thing has a better look to it and it goes better together. If this video helped you out, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Please subscribe for more. I'll have more videos coming. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.